exactly right um or else it was it, no they're going to end up being horrible human beings and drug addicts and alcoholics right <laughs> so that was one of the big reasons why we got divorced in the first in the first time place so learning to communicate to resolve conflict is an amazing tool to have to resolve conflict you have to drop the need to be right and again i talk about this on the podcast more in depth you can check that one out but just be willing to be wrong that's it drop the need to be right it's not your your way of parenting is not the only way there's millions of different ways of parenting be open to see things from a different perspective be curious to know why he wants to parent that way ultimately by you doing those things by you teaching our children these values or or teaching them to do this what is it that you want them to learn what is it that you want them to take away from this what is what is really the values that you want to pass on to the kids by doing things your way get curious ask them because you never know where the common ground lies which is the next thing it, you want to hear them out use the previous tools i just mentioned to hear them out to you speak up and say how you feel so validate each other give yourself space to to get your feelings out and your thoughts about what's happening and then find common ground and the only way you find common ground is by asking questions and by really listening listening to hear how they're feeling what they're thinking what is going on with them listen to understand them not to be understood I love that quote. Like seriously is like the best. <laughs> it, it it drops so much expectations from conversations when you are just open heart, open ears, open mind, okay? And then while you hear them, find common ground. Oh, so I hear that you really value this as you, as a parent. Okay. I value that too. I value um the giving the the children the the uh, the tools to to save money to know how to use money to work hard I, I i hear that you value education i value education too like find ways that you are that find a common ground find where you both agree on once you find what both you both agree on the next thing is talk only solutions. We're not talking about how you feel. We're not talking about how they feel. We're not talking about what you think. We're just focusing on solutions. Only talk solutions. Once you have spoken how you feel and think, that's it. Because if you talk, if you keep talking about your feelings and your thoughts, you can go on and on for years and years and years and never resolve the problem. We want to be able to communicate, to connect, and find solutions, okay? So those are the tools that I mentioned on my post, and I wanted to make a podcast to put them all together because they're so valuable and that can be implemented with any relationship. If you're struggling with connecting with your teen, which is so hard. Use this. Use communicate your feelings. What better way to teach your teens to communicate their feelings? Most teens don't want to speak up, don't want to say how they feel to their friends, to you. Why not be the one that that models this behavior? Be the one that shows them, hey, I'm frustrated at you because you are you have a, you you you're not going to school, you're not giving it your all, 
and I'm making it mean that you're a slacker or whatever it is. Like just communicate your feelings. And again, it's just so you can connect, not so we can change them. And if you want to tell them that, go ahead. It's just be like, hey, I'm just saying it so we can communicate, so we can f- communicate and connect emotionally, not so you can change. You can keep making the same th- behaviors. Obviously, if they're your children, there's consequences attached to it. But when it comes to your spouse, it's just like, yeah, you, I'll love you. And I'll check back, I'll check with myself to see if how long I'm willing to tolerate this behavior or how, like, I'll check in and see if it's aligned with who I am. And if, if it's okay, if it's a non-negotiable, then yeah, go ahead. Keep doing it. Do you, do you boo, right? <laughs> so, or if you're struggling with your parents and you need to make a request, use these tools to communicate how you want them to behave. Um, again, Allowing them to say no if they want to, without you putting a condition on your love. Or if you are having conflict with a sibling, a friend, and you have a disagreement and things are awkward and you want your relationship to go back or get better, use the, this tool that I mentioned to communicate, to resolve problems and connect you again and improve your relationship. I promise you, whichever tool you use, whatever you pick up out of this podcast, try it today because I am pretty sure that you are not communicating your feelings to someone around you. I am 100% sure that you're stuffing an emotion and you're not communicating it because of what you will feel or what the other person will say. I am going to encourage you to go and communicate your feelings. Go and resolve that conflict that you've been avoiding. Go and make that request that you've been wanting to make and you've been afraid of a no. Go and do it because today is the day to create that change. Not tomorrow, today. I love you and we'll see you next time. To keep up to date with what's coming up, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Elisa, E-L-I-S-A, underscore, Fucci, F-U-C-C-I, underscore, coaching, and on Facebook at Elisa Fucci. You can also email me at elisafucci.coaching at gmail.com. Don't forget to leave a review, share, and subscribe to this podcast.